Hello everyone, welcome back to another Teacher Tip Tuesday. My name is Abby and I'm actually here with a special guest that you have seen all the time, so it's Mr. Josh. Hello. So I'm gonna be interviewing him and asking him some questions that you parents have asked us. So let's get into it. If you don't know, she's our producer. So everything that we do, everything that you see, she has such a huge part in it. So why don't you just give her a strong hand clap, right? She's awesome. So the first question is, is it considered religious if I force my child to come to church every Sunday? No, I don't think it is. However, uh, I do believe that we do need a balance in this as well. Yes, the Bible says, and I'm pretty sure this is the first thing that every parent thought of. Yeah, but the Bible says we have to force them in. Amen to that. I, I agree, and I am with you 100%. But, you know, guys, if, if they're tired, they maybe had such a long week in school or uh, in different sports and different activities that they're in, um, it's okay for a Sunday, you know, for them not to come. I mean, it's okay for you not to come. You know what I mean? It, it, the most important, member, church doesn't save you. It's not the church that saves you, it's your relationship with the Lord that will get you to where He wants you to be. It's not religious, however, understand that if there's a day that they don't want to for X, Y reason, it's okay. However, if they do see a, a, like a continuous pattern of no, 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 then yeah. you know what, do what my mama did, grab them by the ear and force them in and hey, 20 plus years later, I'm still in our ministry. So uh, I don't think it's religious, but parents do be cautious or aware that there has to be a balance. No, I definitely agree with you because I grew up in a Christian home. So my mom every Sunday was like, you're going to church. You're going to go to church with me. And I was all for it. I think having my mom telling me to go to church with being consistent with it really helped me build my relationship definitely. with God. So moving on to the next question. Do you think it's too late to restore the relationship with my child who is already 12 years old? No, not at all. I don't think it's too late at all. One of the things that I would definitely advise is first establish a relationship. Um, to me, that's one of the most important things. Before being a parent, um, I believe that we have to be friends with our kids. You know, what does that mean, being a friend? It means that the, uh, they were, they're able to trust you, you're able to trust them, you're able to build a relationship, you're able to build a bond, and um, then they know who you are in this specific role as a father, as a mother, them as kids. And once they know what role we, we both play, then um, I believe that then there will be definitely a, a restoration. It's never too late. Um, so if this is you and you might be in this situation right now, I just pray that the, the wisdom of God comes over you and uh, His guidance, His wisdom to be able to, to enter into that relationship, into that communion with your son or with your daughter. So moving on to the next question. Yep. So I believe this is from a wife. So she's asking, if my <laughs> husband is not a Christian and says many bad words, how can I help my child to not repeat those bad words? Don't stop pushing forward. Don't stop persevering. Um, continue to model. We have been we have been uh, commissioned to be Christ-like. Remember, we are ambassadors, and as ambassadors, we represent the kingdom of God. So persevere and don't stop. Speak to them about the purpose of the mouth. What the Bible says. The Bible says that we are uh, that our mouth is to bless, not to not to condemn. So speak to them about that and. Let them know that, hey, you know, we understand that dad or even mom, you know, may speak certain words, but um, they don't please God. And, you know, if we pray together and then find, you know, mind you, you could even bring this as, you know, getting closer to the Lord, uh, bringing your child closer to the, to the Lord and, and even praying as a family. And, and one day, you know, one of the things that we could do an acronym for push is pray until something happens. Mm -hmm. And so when you push as a family, you're praying until something happens, you're going to see that breakthrough. And I think prayer is key. Prayer is key with everything because it says in the Bible where two or three are gathered in his name, God's there. So I think make a habit each day to pray at least an hour with your kids or take time before dinner to pray or whatever it is you guys do at least for me growing up i my mom at 6 p.m every night she had me and my sister go to the room and praying and i remember with a little blanket i was four years old and i was praying and i go lord this is this you know i don't know what i'm saying but I'm here and I promise that was the foundation to my relationship with God. Question number four or five now. 
So at what age do you baptize your children in church? And what characteristics do you take into consideration to know if the child is ready to be baptized? Yeah, this is such a great question. I like um, it a lot. Yeah. So actually twice a year we, we do baptisms for kids. Here. Shout out to baptisms. <laughs> <laughs> to come. Oh yeah, for sure. I believe next one will be in March. So yeah. don't miss it. We begin to baptize kids around the age of nine, ten-ish. Most of the times we have parents come to us and, oh, my kid wants to get baptized, right? So it's like, I look at the parent, mind you, I'm like six feet tall, you know, I'm a bald guy with the beard, you know, I'm kind of big. And so and I'm here looking at the parent and then I look at the child and the child is like there behind the parent, like just giving me this, no, like I don't want to. Um, <laughs> it's, sure? it's funny. Mom, sure? Yeah. <laughs> you know, so it's like, so the first thing that I do is immediately I'll go with your permission. I'm going to speak to your child and I said, hey, I go, papi, mommy, or, you know, hey, do you want to get baptized? Do you know what it means to be baptized? And it's like, no, I don't know. You know, my mommy just told me I'm going to do this. So I guess I got to do it. Yeah. So it's like, mom, you know, I go, I go, how is, how is she? How is he? What's his, what's his or her behavior? I mean, this isn't about a behavior issue either, but this is rather about a conviction and understanding that we are being born again Christians. We're leaving an old life behind and we're, you know, we're being raised uh, new creatures in Christ. So characteristics, uh, definitely I do believe as far as a child has that knowledge and that wisdom, that understanding about, about things to why he or she is doing it, then we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll, we'll allow them is not that we won't allow your child as long as you're nine again or ten years of age to be baptized um, it's not that we won't allow them we will uh and the, the good thing is that even if they don't know why we do have special classes that we also give them before they are baptized so eventually at, at the end of the of the day they will have the full understanding yeah. to what the baptism is and whatnot and, and they're baptized you know and and even if they don't understand guess what even just the act of them being baptized i believe that is them just being completely separated you know for the lord and also to give them an experience so they have an experience with god it's changed forever and i want that change maybe that was a characteristic that you see their child maybe worshiping a little bit more or you see your child praying more on their own and they have questions and they go to you maybe that's the characteristics that they may have mm -hmm. to say mom dad I want change in their life so last but not least our last question is what ideas can you give me so that my child doesn't spend all day on his or her electronic phones because you know our our generation my generation or Gen Z we're always on our phones, TikTok, Instagram. We're so consumed with all that content. So how, I see five or six year olds with an Apple Watch. Oh yeah. That's and crazy. I didn't have a Nokia, I had a little Nokia phone when I was 14. The little blue one? The little blue one to call my mom. <laughs> I remember. Yeah, I had to call my mom and say, oh mom, I'm on the bus right now to go to school. So the, the kids have iPads and everything. How, how can they get away from that? We'll always find time we have what we would call intentional uh, outings, um, whether it's to a park, we'll get friends together, you know, with their kids as well. Um, you know, Please. friends from school, play dates, exactly. Mm -hmm. And we'll, we'll go to the park, to the beach, to the pool and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Begin the activities, sign them up into something, not what you want. Very important. It's not what you want. It's what they want. It's not an obligation, but it's a, hey, come on, let's actually, let's give this a try. Let's, let's throw the football around. Let's do this, let's do that. And little by little, you'll begin to see how they'll just completely transition into one and two. They're creating a habit. You'll see how they'll just transition to um, actually wanting to, to be in the outdoors and wanting to do different things. We even camp inside the house. Oh, that's so cool. We used to make forts when I was younger. Yeah, we actually have a tent. So we actually put in the living room oh, that's and so we build cool. it and they'll sleep there. So just be creative, having, you know, innovation, ideas, creativity, be intentional with everything that you do. Those are all the questions. Awesome. I think it was a great time. And if you guys have any more questions, make sure to comment them below. And thank you, Josh, for having me to ask you these questions. Definitely. And I know that he'll see you guys next week. I sadly won't. But if you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up, like and subscribe to our channel and follow us on all social media. It will be linked down below. So we'll see you guys next week. Bye. Guys. Bye.